Good evening, everyone. I'm Katrina Irwin. Isabel is off tonight. As celebrations for Veterans Day continue over the weekend, one local Navy veteran is almost finished her fight against cancer. She credits her days in the armed forces for motivating her to never give up. Alex Love spoke to her and joins us now in the studio with her story. Alex? Absolutely, Katrina. Elizabeth Smith lives in Farmington with her family. She dreamed of doing 20 years of service in the Navy, but while stationed in the Pacific Northwest, she received the news that would send her into a new battle. Ranked as a petty officer third class, Elizabeth Smith was about to head out on her first deployment in her first year of service, but began experiencing a series of illnesses. One of my sponsors said, hey, you know, I think you need to go see another doctor. Like, we need to get a MRI or a CAT scan or something like that because you're getting sick all the time. You're running into walls. You can't hear anything out of your right ear. I got a CT, and they ended up finding a plum-sized tumor making a C in my brain stem. At 20 years old, Smith was diagnosed with medulloblastoma, a brain-type cancer most common in children but rare in young adults. After going back and forth with a few doctors, Elizabeth had to trade in her military life and check into Children's Hospital Colorado. I was their oldest patient going through uh, this form of cancer. And so, I mean, it was completely weird to be the oldest person walking into Children's Hospital. I mean, it was great from the standpoint, you know, there's so much not happiness, but it's just so bright. She still had to check in and do a lot of her naval things and responsibilities while in treatment. And so we'd show up at the hospital for treatment in her uniform. People would just look at you kind of oddly. It took 35 rounds of radiation and six rounds of chemotherapy for Elizabeth to complete her treatment. She's now five months away from remission. After being medically discharged from the Navy, she was connected with an adaptive sports camp that helps veterans stay active and mentally strong. I was a competitive swimmer, so I could still swim. I could do sports like wheelchair rugby. Um, you know, it just kind of motivated me to be like, I'm not completely gone. You know, that part of me, the still being competitive, the enjoyment of being athletic, I mean, it just came right back. She is a strong young woman. One of the main organizations who supports these, the, who, who supports these, support, these uh, sporting leagues for veterans like Elizabeth is the Semper Fi America's Fund. For links on how you can donate to help their cause and refer veterans to them, visit rochesterfirst.com. Katrina. All right, Alex, thank you.